both the alleged perpetrator and a victim. In a three-and-a-half-year trial at the International Criminal Court, some 4,000 people attested to the reign of terror of the Lord's Resistance Army and one of its senior commanders, Dominic Ongwen. Faced with 70 counts of war crimes and crimes against humanity, he faces life in prison. His case is a first, as the sole LRA trial to reach a verdict at the ICC. Nicknamed the White Ant, Angwin is accused of being a leader in Joseph Kony's army and helping to commandeer its bloody campaign on Uganda in the early 2000s, one that the United Nations says killed more than 100,000 people and led to the abduction of 60,000 children across Uganda and neighboring countries. Ongwen's ICC trial focused on his role in attacks on refugee camps between 2002 and 2005, where he is said to have ordered the disemboweling and burning of children, the forcing of scores of young girls into sexual slavery, and the conscription of boys as child soldiers. Kidnappings that Ongwen himself was the victim of. At age 10, on his way to school, he was abducted and turned into a child soldier. The 45-year-old pleaded not guilty, and his lawyers pushed for an acquittal, saying he was brainwashed. While prosecutors and lawyers for thousands of victims say, as an adult, he was a ferocious, enthusiastic warlord. The case has raised questions about how to hold accountable perpetrators who themselves were victims, but then went on to allegedly brutally kill, rape and maim thousands.